Welcome back to the tailgate folks. This is Clinton Miner from Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft. We've got a product that we've sold quite a few of. People seem to really like and I uh, I think I did an older video on it but I, I wanted to get an updated video that people could go to that have looked at this, that have purchased it, they know what it is and they know how to use it. So we're going to look at the Fat Boy Fatwood Ferrocerium Rod. Stay tuned. So we got a little bit of a breezy day going on here in southwestern Idaho. It's uh, the middle of January. We, it's a beautiful day. It looks like it's going to be in the 40s, so that's really nice. But there's a little bit of a breeze blowing. We'll have some effect on probably the sound quality of this, but also makes it a little harder to start a fire with, with fat wood. But I think we can get it done. I'm going to create a little bit of a, a wind block here. But this fat, wood, fat, fat Boy Fatwood Ferrocerium Rod is is the first product I put together and tried to share with people. And that came from my experience. I, I grew up uh, doing Boy Scouts, being out in the out in the outdoors a lot. And I always had a ferrocerium rod and made a lot of sparks, but could never really figure out how to make a fire with it until I started watching some YouTube channels that talked about fatwood. And again, like I've told in other videos, I knew about the concept of fatwood because my father had always told me that if I got lost, and needed to wait out him finding me. This is when I was young, 10, 12, 14 years old. Um, I should find a stump and light it on fire and it would burn a long time, he told me, all night. And that way I'd have a fire to keep me warm without having to do a lot of extra effort. And the reason for that is that typically a pine stump, the area where we, where we go, a pine stump is essentially just fat wood, and so that was the process that he was explaining to me without really explaining to me why. Um, as I started watching the YouTube videos and realizing that there was more to fat wood than simply a stump to keep a fire going, um, I realized that it was an extremely good way to use your ferrocerium rod. You get a little bit of fat wood sawdust, and then you can start a fire, and we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So. I'll pull out my Mora knife. As with all of my Mora knives, I've spent some extra time grinding the back so I have a very sharp 90 degree angle there. And what what the Fat Boy, Ferris, or Fat Boy Fatwood Ferrocerium Rod does is combine the fat wood with the Ferrocerium Rod so you don't have to have those two separately. And what we do, and this one obviously has been used a lot of times. It's one I use for the shows where we go and, and show these things to people. So what I do is I simply, the handle itself is the, is the fire starter. And it is, uh, one of the great values of this is because it is so full of pitch, I'll put it up the camera here in just a second, but because it's so full of pitch, there's really no place for any water to get into that fat wood. And so it is a, as close as you can get to a, a really waterproof tinder uh, because water just doesn't have a whole lot of impact on it. So what I'm doing is I'm not slicing off small pieces, I'm scraping off some some basically sawdust and I'm going to make a little pile with that. Now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with the fat wood if I can get the, the camera to focus. If you look closely at this, you see that this is just full of pitch. Going back to an earlier video that I put up about chopping wood, that's just a bunch of straws. And if you think about those straws being full of pine pitch, that tells you what this really is. So we've got our little pile here. Got a little breeze coming up, so hopefully we'll be okay. We've scraped that right off from the handle of this Fat Boy Fatwood Ferrocerium Rod. The handle is just like this one. And what we'll do is simply Place that ferrocerium rod right there. Again, I'm using the back of my knife to avoid using up the valuable resource of my sharp end. And there we go. Just took a little spark to get it right there in it. Again, you can see how breezy it is, and yet that's gonna burn fairly, fairly extensively. One of the things I find that is if you pile that up very high, it'll create a dome over itself with the pitch and put itself out because it, it lacks oxygen. So if you want a longer burning flame, you build a bigger, shallower pile 
not a, a, a taller pile. So there you go, folks. Extremely easy way to start a fire, even on a breezy day. Uh, I actually use this just about as much as I do my Bic lighter when, I, I, when I'm starting a fire because it's so easy. And because unlike my Bic lighter that burns the back of my thumb and burns the uh, short period of time to get that fire started, I've got some time to put on my tinder and, and get things going. So there you have it, folks. The Fat Boy Fatwood Ferrocerium Rod. As you look at me, you can see where the Fat Boy comes from. The fat wood is the wood that we use. This is uh, pine that we collect from the mountains up here uh, in southwestern Idaho with a ferrocerium rod attached. Each of them comes with a striker that you can use to both scrape the wood and scrape the ferrocerium rod to get those sparks in case you don't have that knife with you. A wonderful little product that you can carry with you in a day pack and know that you've literally got hundreds of fires. I've probably started with that ferrocerium rod and that that fat wood at least 200 if not 250 fires so far and it's still got a lot of fires left in it so remember if you're prepared you're never really lost if you've got a fire you've got light warmth and comfort and to some extent protection so if you need these if you need any of the products that we sell here at sage sawtooth bushcraft go to my web page www sage to sawtooth bushcraft all one word dot com and if you enjoy these videos please like please share and most importantly if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel